exactly what they learn every week on the game called College Madhouse. This week, the Huskies of the University of Washington and the Killer Ducks of the University of Oregon. And now, here's the Dean of College Madhouse, Greg Cunningham. Madhouse teams from two of America's top finest universities and colleges competing in battles, of course, brains and brawn featuring some fairly outrageous physical stunts, I think you'll agree, and some very challenging questions at the end of the game. The winning team gets to run through our college madhouse, strategically located right behind me, win some prizes for themselves and some scholarship money for their individual schools. And right now to introduce today's teams is the oh-so-subtle Bo Weaver. Direct from Seattle, Washington, here comes the team from the University of Washington. Hey, I'm Kevin O'Brien. I'm a senior political science major, major and the captain of the Huskies today. <laughs> Jennifer Day, communication major, senior at the University of Washington. <laughs> Jameson West, sophomore major in business communication. I'm from Delta Tide Delta at the University of Washington. Andy Coaster, freshman, chemistry major at the University of Washington. Go Huskies! And I understand, Bo, that the Huskies have a little competition here today. Next, from Eugene, Oregon, we have the University of Washington. Our tribal, here comes the mighty killer ducks from the University of Oregon. I'm a five-five room, a five-dot U, Bo. I'm a sophomore, majoring in political science. Yes, I'm team captain. Hi, my name is Carol Bingham. I'm a sophomore. I'm majoring in education, and I'm an upcoming at the University of Oregon. Woo! Hi, my name is Clark Peterson. I'm a sophomore Bruce major at the U of O, and I'm a fighter. Hi, my name is Sherry Talty. I'm a sophomore majoring in political science, and I'm a pie fight at the University of Oregon. Let's go, Ted! Hey, the most exciting part of the game will be bring on our referees, Donna Wilson and Richard McGregor. <laughs> and now you see what I mean. Uh, in the first part of our game today, teams from two of each, I'm sorry, three of each of the schools are going to join us right over here for this particular stunt when we get started. Okay, well, guys, we need you, uh, first of all, I'd like you to take a look at these uh, bottles of soda down here in front. So when I say go, you're going to take a bottle of this stuff. I can never do this right. You slam it down. So, whoa, there, whoa, 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 something like that. Thank you very much. And uh, you're going to get, obviously, a huge stream of soda. Aim it straight into the bucket of your uh, teammate here. We call these, are these, oh, Periscope buckets. These are the lovely Periscope buckets patented by College Matt House. Whoever's got the most soda in their bottle is going to, you look very nice, is going to win this particular stunt. Let's set the clock, please. All right, here we go in position, guys. And if we're all set, let's go. Question. That last stunt featured bubbly soft drinks. Which of these bubbly beverages is not a soft drink? Birch beer, root beer, or champagne? Husky. Birch beer. No. No, you were both wrong on that one. I'm sorry. Neither of you pick up any points. It's 25 for the University of Washington. Nothing for Oregon. It was champagne. We're going to take a break and be back with our outrageous human sponges. You, uh, you won't want to miss it. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, in that stunt, uh, rather this next stunt, you're going to uh, see girls just what you can get out of these guys with a one good effective squeeze. Need you to jump into the pool, guys, soak up as much water as you possibly can, and you're going to climb up on the platforms like Richard's doing, 
and uh, ladies, you'll be getting them a squeeze, hugging and squeezing, draining as much of the water out. Very nicely done, Donna, Richard, thank you. Uh, draining the water out of them as quickly as possible and into those buckets right there. Team with the most water in their buckets after 45 seconds wins the stunt. Well, let's not waste any time. You guys go over here and get set up. We're going to get the clock ready. And the clock is set. So, go ahead and take your places there. Ready and... Now, I don't know. I could be wrong. Here, let me help you out with that. I could be wrong here, but I think that uh, Washington was squeezing a little bit harder, but we're about to find out right now. Clearly, no question about it, it looks like Washington wins. And another squeeze to top it off. We're going to go over here and give you some points right now. Step on down the road. University of Washington picks up another 25 on that particular stunt. In that last stunt, come to think of it, your teammates played sponges. As they're found in nature, sponges live in the sea. Which of these Roman gods also lived in the sea? Jupiter, Mercury, or Neptune? Yeah, Washington. Neptune. I'm sorry? Neptune? That's right, the 25. So, another 25. That's 75 for Washington. The ducks are dragging behind with a uh, duck egg, so to speak. Let's go over here. Okay, well, we have uh, quite the incredible feast today here in this uh, very tacky restaurant, Mama Madhouse's Meatball Palace. <laughs> I got a lot of them. Girls, uh, obviously, you're going to be the cook. Nice headwear there. When I say go, you're going to load a uh, monster make-believe meatball here onto your fork, your giant fork, I might add. I can never do this. God, that is embarrassing. Anyway, you're going to launch it over to your teammate, who's going to be right over here. She's going to catch it in one of these... Uh, Rather, he's going to catch it in one of these bowls of uh, tomato sauce here. To launch and catch as many as you can in 30 seconds, because the one who catches the most meatballs in 30 seconds wins. Right. So let's set the clock, please. All right, you guys in place. And go! Come on back here, folks. It's possible, please. You want to hold on to that? Okay, over here for the University of Oregon. How many did they get here, Donna? I have one, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much. Six for the University of Oregon. The Washington Huskies. Huskies win it. Four. I'm some points right now. Okay, and we go to our next question here. If we have some people to answer these. Well, you guys, uh, Washington, you're doing a heck of a job here, obviously. You're feeling good at this point. The uh, last stunt featured meatballs, which are often served in tomato sauce, which of these is another name for an Italian tomato sauce. A la mozzarella, a la marinara, or al pesto. Yeah, Washington. Al marinara. Yeah, that's right. Another 25 for Washington. 125 for Washington, Oregon. Still dragging behind you. That's the end of our stunt round. That means it's time for the college madhouse finals. Still anybody's game. We're going to lock into it in just a moment. Stay with us. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Today's College Madhouse Finals. Finals? Mm -hmm. One minute and 30 seconds of lightning action. Some pretty challenging questions at stake as a crack at all the cash and prizes in the College Madhouse right back here. Here's how it works. Our teams are going to line up facing each other. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right now, folks. 
Guys, I'm going to ask you a question. First player in line, you're going to hit your signal, come up with a right answer, you'll pick up 25 points, plus you get to nail your opponent with a pie, which is a uh, sort of a cream marmalade type thing. We're going to keep on like that for a minute and 30 seconds, and then we're going to check and find out who is going to the college madhouse. The category is kings and queens. This ferocious feline is known as the... I'm sorry, let's set the clock, please. This ferocious feline is known as the king of the beasts. Name this animal. Oh. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, you get, a, you get a chance to answer. Go ahead. Well, yeah, nail him to the back. Of <laughs> this king of the civil rights leader of the 50s and 60s. Today, his birthday is celebrated as a national holiday. Yeah. Martin Luther King. Yes, you nail him for 25 points next. And what sport do players try and knock down the kingpin? Yeah, all right, yeah. No? Um, Billy, um, bowling. Back of the bowling. line, we're looking for bowling. I don't think we got it. Next up, known in the music industry as the king, he died with over 50 gold records to it. Yes. Elvis. Yeah, for 25 points. Next, that tweet of the night also was moved by Mark. Yes, that's right, for 25 points. <laughs> Here. According to the nursery rhyme, what king was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he? Back of the line, old King Cole. Next up, this oversized ape made his screen debut opposite Fay Ray. Yeah, Oregon. King Kong. Yes. 25. What queen is Princess Diana's royal mother-in-law? Yes. Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. Next up here in which European nation did citizens call their king the czar? Soviet Union. Yes. Washington's deadly. They're superior to the drone and the workers. She is the boss of the hive. What is she? Yes, Washington. Queen Bee? Yes. <laughs> In the Alice in Wonderland story, this queen behaves. That's it. That is it. And no question about it. University of Washington with 250. Oregon with 75. Washington, you are going to Uh, to the name of scholarship fund, and uh, we got a little something for each of you guys, too. Bo, tell them about it. All contestants receive British Knights. Get off on the right foot, get off on BK's. British Knights athletic footwear for guys, gals, and kids, too. British Knights, the right move for you. And this assorted merchandise, Gitano Bodywear, taking all the curves with high performance. Gitano, the spirit of family. Today, we'll surprise you for yourself with scholarship money for the school, and we will see you in just a moment. Come on, right down here, folks. Right down here. And we will be back with more College Madhouse right after this. obviously have won the stunt round and they are going to our college madhouse this is your chance to capture a thousand dollars for the university of washington a bunch of great prizes for yourselves as a matter of fact bo is going to tell you exactly what's in there right now rush into the madhouse by racing around the pool and into the zapateria where one of your opponents is waiting to give you cash and zap you with a face full of whipped cream next Climb up to the rocket, then try to get past the roommate from hell and grab the tag for Ray-Ban Precious Metal Sunglasses. They feature rare metals in 24 karat gold frames in gray, black, or white with changeable lenses. Pouch alone certifies each is an authentic limited edition Ray-Ban Sunglasses. Plus dual control, walk in a wild side of fashion with a picture-perfect wool and leather crest to jacket furnished by dual control. Next, grab cash up in the human stew pot. Then, head straight to the black hole and slide down to the lower deck. Somewhere in the paddle wheel, you'll find the tag for Emerson's Bookshelf AMFM Stereo System with dual cassettes, turntable traffic, equalizer, and full-range speakers. A fine product furnished by Emerson. Plus, a Grand Slam video game package. It includes Nintendo Entertainment System Acclaimed Wireless Remote Controller, the hot new Airwolf game and other blockbusters furnished by Acclaim. Or you could raid the bridge for hidden cash. Then jump up to Fraternity Row. <laughs> the one goes to find the cash tag. Next, race up to the Dean of Students. Pull out his tongue and grab the tag to win the Weatherford Comica MR640. It's the perfect 35mm camera for the action photographer. Features built-in wide-angle and telephoto lens on <laughs> color film furnished by Conica. And this luggage, Ricardo Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive 2. <laughs> 
Sweet Bright and Chamber Luggage, high density nylon construction, weekend or around the world trips furnished by Ricardo Beverly Hill. All these prizes for you, plus cash tags on Hurricane Alley, on Treasure Island, and tumbling in the campus drill. That's cash totaling $1,000 for your college scholarship fund, all in today's Mad <laughs> It is going to be about a week till we get Richard out of that thing, I think. All right, listen up, uh, Huskies. First of all, who is going first into the Madhouse? Jennifer, you are first. Well, when I say go, you're going to rip into the Madhouse there, grab all the prize and cash tags that you can. And after 30 seconds, you're going to hear this lovely sound. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and you got to stop grabbing tags because the number two player is going to start running through, and I believe that's Wendy. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, and you're going to capture all the tags that you can get your hands on, obviously, and we're going to continue like that until all four of you have had your 30 seconds in there. Uh, but listen, if you do clean house, and that means getting all 13 tags today, we are going to send the four of you on a, a pretty nice trip that Bo's going to tell you about right now. You'll be going on a New England ski trip. Your vacation includes rental car and five great days of skiing at Southern Vermont's premier ski resort, Mount Snow, with 77 trails of something for everyone, furnished by Mount Snow Resort. Okay. Exciting. Yeah. Control yourself, Jennifer. We're going to get in position right now. Come on up here. Now, because... Hold it right there. Because uh, there are 13 tags in the uh, madhouse, we're going to go ahead and set that magical tag counter at 13, please. And set the clock for 30 seconds. Are we all set? Yeah. Jennifer, you ready to go? Yep. Ready to rip in there? Let's go, Jen. Go! <laughs> Let's go, Jennifer. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Check down below. Yeah. How many do you have to get, do you figure? Let's go. Let's go, Jennifer. 11 tags left. I don't know how you did it. You got all 13 tags, meaning you got everything. You got the stereo and video games here. You got this, uh, what is it? All those sunglasses and the fashion jacket. Also the 35 millimeter camera and luggage. Plus, we're going to give that $1,000 to the Washington Husky Scholarship Fund. All right, all right. Okay, so you guys uh, also got that incredible trip to Vermont. Uh, Vermont, little Mount Ski action for you. And as a matter of fact, we're going to bring on the runner-ups right now, Oregon. I love you guys. Next week on College Madhouse, this will take place. On the next College Madhouse, the terrible curse of Maryland take on the aggressive Cavaliers of Virginia. <laughs> the fun begins in this rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Please pass the soap. Watch this. Those provocative places. What a kick. You'll go hog wild watching these passionate Pig Pen playmates. Maryland versus Virginia on TV's wildest show, College Madhouse. And that is next week on College Madhouse. Till then, for Donna and Richard, I'm Greg Kinnear. We will see you next time.